All the rain, all the wind means trees on houses, means limbs crashing onto cars. If this is happening to you, you're asking two questions. Am I covered? And who pays? Well, let's make it really clear for you. Bottom line, and you may not like this answer when you hear it, if it is your home, it is your insurance. That's correct. If it's your home, it's your insurance. It doesn't matter where the tree came from, your property or your neighbors. Your insurance pays for any damage to your house. Your neighbor isn't even responsible for your deductible. But turn things around. That's right, flip it over. If it's your tree on your neighbor's house, it's not yours. It's their claim. The only time this isn't the case is if the tree was a known danger, as in it was put in writing to the homeowner and insurance company before the tree ever falls. Okay, let's take a closer look at storm damage and your vehicle. Comprehensive uh, coverage is really for, for acts of nature, things like hail damage, uh, hitting an animal, lightning, flood, uh, a limb falling on it. So if this happens, it's your comprehensive coverage on your auto insurance policy that pays. 80% of people have comprehensive coverage. It's required for any auto that you're still making payments on. But if you have a vehicle that is paid for, it's optional, so you'll need to check your policy. And one more note, if your car is parked at home, you might think your homeowner's insurance pays that. Nope, any damage to a car is always your car insurance.